Can Josh Dobbs do it again? Welcome back to One Bar and Lepagus Show. I am Lepagus here with One Bar. One Bar, thanks for joining me. And we're going to answer the question. Can Josh Dobbs do it again? Can he perform out of his head the way he did against the Falcons? Yes, before we get that member, subscribe to the channel. Like the videos here every damn day. Talking Vikings. We are almost at 10,200 subs, which we greatly Ooh. appreciate. Uh, but yeah, I mean, Josh Dobbs, anything you turn on right now, they're just, the story is unbelievable. All-time high. It's a great talker. But you know how do you how do you come back and, and do it again? How do you live up to that? And uh, they're calling him the pastronaut. I like that pastronaut. That's uh, clever. You ever pastronauted a kidney stone? No, but I got to be honest. Every time, I, not every time. I'd say fifty percent of the time I pee, I'm just waiting for it to have excruciating pain. Like this is the time. This is gonna be. This is gonna be the one. It's one of my biggest fears. Is uh, pissing. Yeah, it's a it's a legit fear. I can't imagine. All right, enough about kidney stones. Let's talk about Josh Dobbs. You're right. Everywhere you go, whether it's Twitter, NFL Network, ESPN, Josh Dobbs this, Josh Dobbs that, everybody loves this because it's a great story. It was a great game. It was a great moment. Uh, not only what he did on the field, the whole post-game thing in the locker room, it's everywhere. Josh Dobbs mania is sweeping the nation, and now he's got to follow it up with a really good defense coming here to U.S. Bank Stadium on Sunday in the New Orleans Saints. Uh, can he do it again? And I think there's reasons why he can. I think there's maybe some reasons why he may not repeat that performance. Well, hey, let me get to the point here. Abs, you're damn right he can do it. And he can do it again over and over and over for like the next four weeks because we play the shittiest teams in the league. We have the best schedule that we could ever, ever ask for. And the Falcons, you know, their defense was no slouch themselves. Eighth so, the uh, I mean, Come 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 Sunday, Dobbs might even know like over half of players' names. It's a plus. That's a plus. But I'm jumping ahead. But uh, I I I got full confidence, mostly because of the schedule coming up. Oh, well, and let's you know, it, let's start then with the why. Let's start with why he could. Uh, and number one, I think it's just a whole week of preparation now. Like he's he's gonna be here a whole week. They're gonna start gearing the game plan toward him. He's gonna know the checkdowns. He's gonna know the calls, the signals. He's going to know where to look, the reads, all these things on these plays. He's going to know now, not have Kevin uh, O'Connell have to whisper him in his ear as the play is going on, as he's in the huddle. So there's actually going to be some preparation for him to actually know the game plan and execute the, the plan. I should also say that uh, it could pretty much be anybody at quarterback, and my confidence would still be just as high because it's the weapons. I mean, you're saying that uh, you know he's going to know a lot more about this offense, which is absolutely true. But a big part of it still is the weapons that he has to play with. I mean, Jefferson, they're saying he's probably not going to be back this week. Even without Jefferson, the Hawkinsons, the Addisons, the offensive line he has in front of him, that's going to set him up to succeed right there. And, and another reason why, I mean, it's the weapons he has, his legs. Those legs of his, some of the, the Ooh, tackles he beautiful. was getting out of, the, the moves he was making, it's unbelievable. The athleticism he has and the speed he has, too, to take off. And, and do that. So if he trusts his legs, uh, yes, that's another weapon that's going to give him an advantage over any defense he goes against. Yeah, Vikings fans have been yearning for somebody with a little bit of mobility. Don't get me wrong. I love Kirk Cousins. Most of us love Kirk Cousins. But it was nice to see uh, some things happen when he was scrambling out of the pocket. So when he's getting in trouble, even Kevin O'Connell was saying, like, basically, hey, if you're panicking, take off. That's what he told him. He said, just mm -hmm. take off. And it worked. And uh, even Badgett. Badgett? I mean, I think it's vagina. Whatever it is. Yeah, he had 70 rushing yards against the Saints last week. So I fully expect Dobbs to put those beautiful, smooth, silky legs to work and uh, top that 70 yards. I think he's going to rip shit up. He's going to be our leading rusher. Well, that's not saying much. I'm just being <laughs> like probably for the season. <laughs> Uh, all right, and and I don't want to be negative, Nancy here or anything, but I mean, I love Josh Dobbs' story. I love what he did for the Vikings. It was amazing the fact that he and KOC were able to pull that off in such short notice. But so here's some reasons why he may not be able to do it again. Number one, defenses are now going to start game planning for him. There's going to be a spy on him. Like they're going to have a spy now following him wherever he goes on the field, whether that's, that's so a linebacker, much. a safety, whatever. They didn't do that. Atlanta didn't spy him. I think now he's going to have a spy every time he faces a new defense. Is Josh Dobbs really worthy of a spy. When he's running for those kind of yardage, yeah, he is. Yeah, I mean, so, I mean, it's, that's fair. Uh, you bring up a good point. Like, you know, Atlanta was was 
game planning for Jaron Hall. They were mm-hmm. they were going to try to scare the living shit out of this rookie. They were going to throw the kitchen sink at him. When Dobbs came in, it all went out the window. Dobbs has started plenty of games in this league. He's smart enough to know what to do. So uh, we had an advantage there uh, just because Atlanta wasn't wasn't ready for him. And, and another thing is, is Dobbs, I mean, even though he didn't know the offense, he was kind of playing like backyard football. He was pretty much doing whatever the hell he wanted and just slinging that thing. He mm-hmm. didn't have anything to lose. And now it's going to be more, what's the word? Confined? Confined. I don't know. More. Yeah, whatever. Tight, it is. It's tighter. Be, huh? Tighter. Tighter, more structured. Structured is the word I'm looking for. They're going to actually have more of a plan where it's not just like, hey, hut the ball and run or throw it. Well, Do whatever the I, hell you but want. I also hope KOC doesn't take that away from him. Don't don't make him into something he's not. Like, realize what he is. Don't make him into a pocket passer. Let the boy run. Let the boy watch. So, yes. And here's the other thing. And, again, I love Josh Dobbs. Thank you for that amazing game on Sunday and the win. But – He's Josh Dobbs. So he's Josh Dobbs. He's been with five teams in a year for a reason. Uh, number one, like he saw his pocket presence, his sense when he was in this in the end zone, taking the safety. You got to throw that thing away. You got to know better than that. Uh, you look at the the horrible fumble he had. That, that and then late in the game, the overshooting Brandon Powell on a pass that was just like, what in the hell was that? Like he was wide open. He overshot him by 10, 15 yards. So those are the plays that make me kind of rein in a little bit kind of uh, temper my excitement for what he can be and what he can do when you see these bad plays that he's made and he actually made even late in the game on Sunday. Yeah, but this is the best team he's been on. This is the best team he'll probably ever freaking be on. The uh, the boneheaded, weird plays, the fumbles and the safeties, I'm going to give him a mild pass on this until he does it again because he was out there. He didn't – I mean, he'd never even taken a snap from Garrett. I mean, he was probably so out of sorts. The, the bad pass to Brandon Powell – that's Josh Dobbs. Uh, in le- until he makes those stupid ass mistakes again, I'm just gonna chalk it up. He's just probably like, "Holy shit! I cannot believe I'm out here. I don't even know my center's name." Yep. So I mean, overall factoring all that in together, yeah, I think he can do it again, and I expect him to do it again. Josh, I'm all in on Josh Dobbs, the pastor, not the Dobbsky, Dob, or whatever you want to call him. Josh Dubs. Yeah, he can Dubskis. do it again. Yeah, I'm. Uh, I'm. I'm all for Josh Dobbs. I think he is does give us the best chance. To win, I'm also ready for kind of coming back to life a little bit. I mean, it was just a damn fun game to watch. I think it might be a little bit more vanilla, but I do expect those legs to put up some yards. I can't wait to beat the shit out of the Saints. Let's go. Yeah, it's, it's, it's just right after beating the Packers, beating the Saints. It feels so damn good. All right, let us know in the comments. Can Josh Dobbs do it again? Have you ever passed a kidney stone? What did it feel like? And uh, remember this, too. A gut feeling is a chemical signal that your stomach creates to warn the brain of danger. Danger, there's a stone.